Hey, what's up beauties? I'm Marcus with Epic Life Gaming and today I got a new video for you guys called Rate That Base. And what it is, is where I take one of your guys' bases that you take a picture of, of a base build, and send it to the email in the description below, epiclifegamingyt at gmail.com. And I'm going to do a video of doing a base build of it and then have you guys, the viewers, in the comments leave if this is a good base or not a good base whether you would have whether you would have it as your own base or no scrap that that's not a good base so it'll be a fun video that involves you guys also so go ahead take a picture of your guys's base build that you guys enjoy and then send it to the email epic life gaming yt sorry reload the game uh epic life gaming yt at gmail.com and I'll pick one of your guys' base builds to feature in one of the videos and if this video gets 30 likes I will also do this on a weekly basis so this is a new fun idea that I thought of um, a guy wanted me to try out one of his bases and I said hey why not do it make a video of it and then I thought of this idea of rate that base so you guys let me know whether you would want to have this be one of your bases or not this base right here that I'm going to build for you guys is by gummy bear who is actually a Twitter follower of mine so if you have yet to follow me on Twitter that's a great way to talk to me get a hold of me and that is uh, at epic life gaming on Twitter you guys so go ahead follow me let me know you get to stay up to date with everything alright so let's get into this base build for you so he sent me this base told me try it out see how you like it I was just getting to town all seven and he's been at town all seven for a little while so he wanted me to try out this base see if it would help me out so let's go ahead and let you guys decide whether this is a good base or not so let's go ahead put this clan castle trying to get that centered there we go perfect now we're gonna put some walls around that just like that and that just gives it a little more space so that way you know you can't lure out the clan castle as easily as you know as you know there's just not enough buildings on a town hall 7 to completely block in your uh, clan castle so let's put that right there on the corner and now we're gonna surround that with uh, walls and now this is completely his base design this is not my base design at all so you guys let me know if this is a good base or not and let him know how he did on his base build don't be a jerk you know be cool about it you know I know you guys are you guys are always cool we get some haters every now and then that come in here and leave some hateful comments but they don't stick around and we don't want them to stick around so just give him some constructive criticism. Let him know what he could do better, worse. I don't know. So let's go ahead. I really love the way that uh, he chose in his place placements for his air defenses, though. So this is real important. He already has a lot of different sections, so that's really important. Let's go ahead. And oh, I forgot to say, this is a uh, farming base. All right, there we go. Boom. There we go. Section all these up. So there's a good spot right here. You got, uh, you know, all your storages right there in the center, along with your air defenses and your clan castle. So now we need to start branching this out. All right. So what we're going to do is now put the uh, mortar right over here and then the other mortar right over here there we go and then we're going to find a cannon put that right there and then the other cannon right there and then it looks like he has a tesla tower right there so we're going to start sectioning that one off i think that one is completed so there we go 
And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Where's that Tesla tower? Oh, yeah. And also, you guys, I can only do, I forgot, Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 8 base builds. So let me know about that. Even if you do it in, like, Clash of Clans Builder, if you're not a Town Hall 7 or a Town Hall 8, go to ClashofClanBuilders.com and check that out. And uh, you can do your own base builds in that, and then I can copy that and feature it on. So if you're only a Town Hall 6 or below, or a Town Hall 9 and above, and I can't do you know a base build for that, only Town Hall 8 and uh, Town Hall 7 base builds I can do. So if you had an awesome Town Hall 7 base and want everybody to know about it, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Or uh, leave it in the comments. Sorry, I'm building a base right now. Uh, send it in the email that I uh, have in the description. And I can do a base build and have everybody, you know, give you a chance to find a good base that you might like. Or uh, So there's a spot that I'm going to be missing. But, you know, it gives a chance to people try out new bases. Uh, maybe help some people out. It does a lot of good, and that's why I do base builds. It helps out a lot of people that are having, you know, struggling keeping their trophies or keeping their loot. What's going to go right here, looks like, is his uh, king. That's your barbarian king that's going to go right there. I just don't have a barbarian king right now, so we're going to have to, uh, what can we put in place of that? What could we put in place of that? We'll put what we'll do the spell factory that will represent the barbarian king. I'll be getting that shortly. I just wanted to do a video on it so that way I could uh, show you guys an updated version of me getting my barbarian king. So there we go. Get some more walls going around over here. I'm gonna put that archer tower right there, that cannon right there. So far, this is looking like a pretty good base. All right, and now we just need this section right there. And the last few walls. There we go. Boom. Used up all the walls. So, looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to do the the way he has his base done exactly. I don't agree with everything he do, has done, but I want to copy this exactly because it's not my base build. This is your guys' base builds. And you guys rate him. Let him know what he could do better. What? Let him know how good of a job he did. Whatever the comments may be. And I'll, and I'll do my own little critiquing too also. Let's see. Let's. Ah, I hate when I do that. Where'd that wall go? Stop moving walls! Where could have that wall gone? Wall went right there. Stop moving walls, man! I don't know where that wall went. Crazy. Do you guys see that wall? Where it could have went? Oh my goodness. Moving walls like a madman. There's supposed to be a wall right there. So whatever. We're going to keep going on. Keep pushing because we don't got time to look for a freaking wall that's nowhere to be seen. Literally, wall is disappeared. Huh? Where'd that wall go? Stop moving walls, man. How do you how do you not touch walls? How do you know uh, there should be a button that you can press to be like done moving walls around? Please don't touch another one. All right, so let's keep moving on. We got one more spring trap that's gonna go right there. Seeking air mine that goes right there. Puts two giant bombs right there. All right. Air balloon right there, air balloon right there, there. All right, all right. So now he puts his town hall on the outside right there. Then he does his gold mines 
right there. Does a builder side. He actually does his right there. Boom. 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 All right. So I like the way he does it like this. Um, I don't know if I like the two spread out, like the two out one, but we'll see how it does because then you can fill in spots like this. All right. He has his dark barracks built also, which I don't yet because he obviously has his barbarian king and I don't, so there's no reason for me to build Dark Elixir troops when I'm trying to save as much as possible. Like that. And then that one's right there. That's right there. Man, these uh, stones have been with me for a while. I really enjoy that. I'm trying to see how long I can go without having to get rid of any of these stones. All right, and then as... Uh, Spell Factory goes in that corner right there. Stop moving walls, man. All right. And then obviously uh, another, his other uh, barracks one right there, but I put mine over there because I don't have a dark barracks yet. And then he put his others right there. So there's his base, you guys. I still don't know where that wall went. It just up and moved around. But what do you guys think of this base build? Would you guys do this base build or nah, you know, disregard it? I think this is a pretty good base. Um, I think this base could do a lot of good work. It has his clan castle in the middle, so that's a good job. has his uh, storages in the middle. Great job. You can always swap it out. I'm not a fan of this. Let's see if I can zoom in without moving walls. Um, I don't like this at all. The dark elixir storage on the outside. I don't think that's a good way to go about it. Especially if you're trying to save dark, <laughs> dark elixir. But uh, good placement on your air defenses. You're swip swapping your cannons and your archer towers around. I enjoy that. You got your uh, mortars and a triangle, but uh, I really enjoy it when they hit each, being able to protect each other. So I don't like that part, but uh, good hidden Tesla placements, big bomb, giant bombs aren't a good place, but you got your air balloons um, in a good spot. You have a lot of your buildings tucked up next to your base, so I like that. I think this is a pretty good base. So let me know what you guys think. I think the Dark Elixir spot is going to be the most criticized, but it is well protected by a lot of, you know, traps. But, hey, so thank you, Gummy Bear, for sending me this uh, base build. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and don't forget to send me your base builds to the email below, epiclifegamingyt at gmail.com. Thank you, guys. Hope you have a great day, and don't forget to stay beautiful.